All right, what's up, guys? Um, today I'm going to just show you uh, real quickly how to get the songs off of an iPod if iTunes says it cannot recognize it. This generally can be caused by leak, which corrupts the the iTunes DB files, so it can no longer be read by iTunes. I'll show you right now. I'll get this this warning: iTunes cannot read the contents of iPod Brenda's iPod Touch. Go to the summary tab, blah blah blah. So there's no way to get my songs off of here. However, there is a way to get your songs off. Um, I'll put a link in the description for the program that you need. It's called iExplorer. Now, this is what you're going to want to do download and install iExplorer. Make sure you have the iPod hooked up and iTunes isn't open. And I'll show you right here. I explore. You're gonna want to open this up. Now, once you have I Explorer open, you can just close this window unless you want to share the word. I don't want to right now. Now, you're gonna want to go. This is the root directory of the iPod you're going to want to go into kill this. you're going to want to go into user media iTunes control and then into the music folder this is where all your music is stored now you'll see a bunch of folders F0, F1, blah 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 if you open these up there's going to be a bunch of M4A files inside. Those are all your songs. Now they have pretty generic names, but that's just when the iPod transfers them to the when the when the computer transfers them to the iPod, it renames them these shorter capital letter names. So basically, what you want to do, you want to open up this music so you have all these folders right here. You want to select all these and just drag them and drop them somewhere on your computer. I already did that. I put them in this iTouch folder right here. So now I have all the songs that used to be on the iPod. Now, even though they have generic names, you can see over here if you if you go you have your contributing artist, name of the song, album, everything. So then you can basically restore your iPod, jailbreak it again, and then just transfer all your songs back on so you don't have to lose all your songs. You can keep all your songs, you know, you can do the same thing with apps. You go down here, you got all your app data, everything, all these apps that I have on here. I can do the same thing, copy all these folders off of uh, off the iPod and put them back on after the restore. Nifty little program. I was pissed, got my girlfriend um, a new 4th gen iPod Touch. And uh, although I was able to download all of her songs again, um, there were some that, that weren't available. I couldn't download them again, so I had to figure out a way to get the songs off her old iPod and put them on her new iPod. So that's what I did. So that's basically it, guys. So you can you can grab your uh, grab your music off your old iPod. This does not work on the original spin wheel iPods. Uh, only the newer spin wheel iPods, like the old 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 school iPods, it does not work. But any iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, anything, this will work. You can grab your music, take it off your iPod, put it on your computer, and then retransfer it once you uh, once you restore. I know that Music is what screwed up my uh, my old iTouch, so that's that. Avoid Music unless you want to have to do this. That's all for today, guys. Swan Leader Sat. No.